You the cutest little baby I've ever seen. Look at you, yeah. I think yes. Say hi. Say hi. Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wear and make up every Good morning day. everybody. It's 5 a.m. Hello alarm clock. Good morning. And now I must take my doggy potty before she pees everywhere. Riot. Riot. Oh my god, there were people in that elevator. I've Go never wanted in. to not exist more than in that moment. Why were there people? They were two girls and they were dressed up so cute. They looked like that girl Amber Scholl. Oh my god, was it Amber Scholl? Hold on, we'll talk, just one minute. Okay, that's better. We're gonna do some skincare because we've been awake, what, three hours now and it's finally time to give ourselves me time. That's just how my mornings are. The first three hours are, I never stop, I don't sit down, I don't know where time goes, it goes by very fast. And I'm focused on everyone else. Like all the sleepless nights and not washing my face before bed has caught up to me. So we're gonna do like, deep skincare overhaul like i have this breakout we need some help some work needs to be done we're gonna start by cleansing our face one of the things i used to love before i <laughs> had no time was actually going and getting a facial my favorite kind was a hydrafacial because i just get really clogged pores and i have really dry skin but that's not on my agenda anymore which is why i'm so happy that vanity planet sent over their Xfora, which is their personal microdermabrasion wand look how cool this is vanity planet is a company i've worked with before and they are sponsoring today's video but i am so excited to exfoliate my skin right now it needs some unclogging this has two modes manual and auto and it does come with different heads so this is their normal diamond encrusted tip and it also comes with fine massage body i do have sensitive skin so i use it on level one with the normal head and the auto mode gives you really easy directions to follow so as you can see it has cheeks and then which way to motion Yes, I did change because I had a hot flash, but you can go on top of this with your normal skincare products and this will help everything kind of absorb better. If you are interested in trying out for yourself, I do have the coupon code BALIN60 and that will get you 60% off. So make sure you check that out in the video description. And now I think I might do like a little bit of eyebrow and my hair since I really only wash it once a week and I washed it last night and I did not curl it so it's like that. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy on my skin because I want it to breathe, but I am just gonna do my eyebrows because I feel so much better when my eyebrows are a little bit done. You know, someone asked me on DMs the other day, how many times have I gotten Botox? Um, what do I think of Botox? And the funny thing is, I've never had Botox. I feel like that's a weird flex but I'm 30 and I've never had Botox. I'm not against Botox. I've had other injections. I've had my lips filled three times, but not in the past three years. So I think it's pretty much gone. I, I don't feel like they ever totally a thousand percent go back, but I feel like 90% they go back. If you don't know, you can't get any injections while you're breastfeeding. It's not recommended. 
Um, but I'm just curious, what what is like everyone's consensus on Botox now? What I'm trying to get to is <laughs> you have had it. Do you like it? What age did you first get it? Do you recommend it? Because that is actually something I'm thinking about maybe doing when I finish breastfeeding. Like I'll do a breastfeeding party and then I'll go get Botox. I don't know. I always said I'd wait until I was 30 and now I'm 30. And now I'm like, do I? Oh no. That's why I don't do my hair in the morning. <laughs> ah, it's okay, boo boo. It's okay. Look, mommy was just curling her hair. Oh, it's so nice, mommy's hair is everywhere. thumbnail <gasps> oh look at that one that one looks like it's way too long it look like it feels good this one's long too oh can mommy get this one she would be so happy oh this one's long oh my gosh we need to cut your little thumbnail are you the cutest little baby i've ever seen okay i think it's 9 30. we do dishes did i wash this yet did i not wash this i feel like i washed it arrow do you remember that means mommy's gonna have to hand wash it. Woo! And now, laundry. And what I do is I just keep this open and I just keep throwing stuff into the wash throughout the day and then I run it at night and then I take the stuff out in the morning and deal with that. This had stains of raspberry in it, so let's see if it's still stained. No stains on this. I wish I had a before to show you, but I just use the baby dreft stain remover and it works really well. I think we should hang this and then this. Now you have an actual blanket for your little bra baby. Okay, let's go hang this up. You want to help mommy? Yeah? Look at us. We look so cute in our neutral tones. Oi. Oi. Yeah. Yeah, we like that, huh? One thing I do want to make sure that I do in this vlog is do the eight month baby update because she's eight months, two weeks, and I still haven't made it. I also want to, hold on, let me put this down. This stuff in here. <gasps> wow. Yeah. You tell her. One question I know I'm gonna get a lot because whenever I watch like a 5 a.m., 4 a.m. morning routine, they're always like, oh, let me tell you why. I wake up so early and it's because like they're super motivated and it brings them happiness. I'm gonna be honest, I have a 5 a.m. morning routine because I don't have a choice. And whenever I bring up that she wakes up at 5 a.m., everyone's like, well, have you tried this and this and this? And yes, I have. I think the issue is that's just where her sweet spot is. Like whether I put her to bed at 6.30 p.m or 8 p.m. She's gonna wake up at five, so that's why I do an early bedtime because I know she's gonna wake up at five no matter what. Trust me, I don't want the 5 a.m. life. It is not <laughs> ideal. It does make you very motivated. It feels good to get a lot done before most people are awake. I will admit, I do like those hours where nobody's hitting up my phone, I'm not getting any emails, I don't see another human if I walk my dog. In a few months, maybe a year, her sweet spot will change, maybe she'll go to bed later, maybe she'll wake up later, but this is where we are right now and I've come to terms with it, I'm okay with it. I've tried everything under the sun and we did actually drop down from the three nap a day to two nap a day and it did extend her naps a little bit so it definitely was the right move for us but it did not change her wake up time. I'm not going to complain. And before my mom brain forgets, I really want to do a... Are you saying hi? You say hi. Yes! You... Wait, did you just eat? Oh no. What's on your face? Okay, that was a lot of emotions at once, but <laughs> she's saying hi now. I, This is close. I don't know why it looks like she's diaper cream on her face. What's going on? Mommy's scared. Yeah, I want to do an eight month baby photo of Arrow. I love having these little photos, whether it's just of her or us to look back on and the update. So let me do the photo and then we can do an update. Okay, 
We get one socky. <gasps> Should we get your blocks? <gasps> There's no eight months on this block. Okay, never mind. No. You really want to take a photo? Look how cute you are though. Wow. Look at you, yeah. Wow. Look at you, yeah. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Who's cute? Woo. Okay. I think we got one. I am gonna make some food, huh? Huh? Hi, are you giving that to mommy? That's so nice. Thank you. You wanna do the eight month baby update? You wanna tell everyone what's changed? The biggest change between seven months to eight months for us was she started crawling. So she was pushing herself backwards or zombie crawling. And she's very fast. It's all she does now. You also saw one of her other new things she's obsessed with, which is like waving hello. I don't think she knows it means hello because she just does it like all the time. Like I go pee, I get a hello. And she'll do it on like FaceTime because that's really the only time she sees anyone. But if she sees someone in my building, she like won't smile, she won't say hello. <laughs> she makes like no contact with them. She still has no teeth, which has been fine with baby lead weaning. You don't need teeth to start solids or do baby lead weaning, but I'm very surprised. Speaking of baby lead weaning, we did start it at six months, and of course it's like a very slow burn at first, but now we're doing like full meals three times a day. Banana is still her favorite food, but we discovered her least favorite food, which is raspberries, which is so weird because they're so good. She will eat other kind of berries, like she loves blackberries, she's okay with strawberries. But not raspberries, huh? Nope, none for you. As always, never compare your baby's milestones to mine. These are really just made for me to look back on, to see how she has progressed and changed for her own path. It'll probably totally be different for you. Hi, hi, are you saying hello? I think that's everything. I feel like this video was a little bit all over the place, a hot mess, but I'd be lying if I say my mornings were any different or I could structure them any better. We're all here just doing the best we can, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed, and thank you again to Vanity Planet for sponsoring today's video. I will see you guys very soon. Bye! I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you grew all the